That was no ordinary horse, I tell you. Eumenes murmured, his hand clutching his side. He attacked me on purpose. I thought it was the end of me as I gazed into his mean black eyes. Lydia swallowed bile. Thank the gods you were spared. I won't forget that beast as long as I live. His coat was an unusual black, glossy with shine and good grooming. And right here, Eumenes pointed to the middle of his forehead, there was a white mark that looked like a half moon with a tiny speck next to it that resembled a star. It's amazing the silly details you note when you think you're about to die. The memory of that white moon and star I shall take to my grave. It was perfectly proportioned, as if drawn by the hand of an artist. The beast looked at me with venom in its gaze and attacked. Their guest chuckled. It was just a spooked horse. A horse possessed by demons, I tell you. If not for this young man, it would have gone on to trample me to death. I don't know how, but my friend here charmed that animal into calm. One word from him and the horse stopped its thrashing. I thought I was safe until my foot slipped and over I went. Even then, my champion would not leave me but clambered down to help carry me all the way home. Apollo gave a modest smile. I'd best fetch a physician. Your father will need some stitching for his wound. Wait, Lydia called as he turned away. What is your name? I can't keep calling you... She stopped mid-sentence, realising that she had been about to call him Apollo to his face. I mean, I should know your name, since it seems we owe you a great debt. Jason. My name is Jason. Jason.